In this video, we'll be taking a look at two college basketball games happening on April 6, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so four picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these two college basketball Ball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. NC State vs. Purdue, the North Carolina State Wolfpack, victors of the South region, are set to face off against the Purdue Boilermakers, champions of the Midwest region. This coming Saturday in the opening game of the Final Four doubleheader in Phoenix, Arizona, the Wolfpack, seeded 11th in the South region, have made history by becoming the lowest seeded team to reach the Final Four since 1979 and are returning to the stage for the first time since their national title win in 1983. On the other side, the Boilermakers have had a stellar season, securing a school record 33 wins and reaching their first Final Four appearance since 1980 as the top seed out of the Midwest region. The matchup between these teams probably promises to be intriguing. We have the underdog Wolfpack, reminiscent of Cinderella, squaring off against a Purdue team charging into the game with a mission of redemption. The Boilermakers bring to the court a wealth of accolades and boast the tournament standout player, Eddie. Meanwhile, the Wolfpack enter the game with a formidable defense that has kept every tournament opponent under 40% shooting, with a notable achievement of limiting the Blue Devils to a season-low 32% in the South Region Final. Riding a streak of nine consecutive victories, NC State has relied heavily heavily on Burns, whose prowess in scoring from the paint and facilitating plays from the post has been instrumental. In my view, Purdue has a solid chance of advancing to the championship game on Monday night. Although it won't be a walk in the park, the Wolfpack possess enough big players to challenge Eddie, potentially disrupting his rhythm. While Purdue excelled in three-point shooting during the regular season, their efficiency in the tournament has waned, especially against an NC State team that has proven adept at defending the three-point line, holding opponents to a mere 20 24% shooting. Burns's craftiness inside the paint should allow him to make an impact, even with Eddie's imposing presence. The last encounter between these teams dates back to 2021 during the Hall of Fame Invitational, where Purdue secured an 82-72 overtime victory. Notably, both Eddie and Casey Morso remain from that game, providing continuity across seasons. NC State was a significant plus 14.5 underdog in that match, a pattern that has been consistent for them in recent games, where they have thrived as underdogs with a 7-0 record against the spread. The Wolfpack's ability to match up well against the Boilermakers, despite potential height disadvantages, could prove pivotal in keeping the game close. Offering nearly 10 points to the Wolfpack might be too generous, given their remarkable run in covering the spread throughout the tournament, especially as underdogs in three out of four games. Therefore, the NC State Wolfpack to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. While I believe the Wolfpack can hold their ground in this matchup, I am also realistic about their ability to contain Purdue's offense to under 70 points. The Boilermakers have been averaging 84 points per game in the tournament and, even with NC State's defensive efforts, are likely to capitalize on free throws. Although Purdue's shooting percentage may drop, it is unlikely to fall below 40%. The Wolfpack will need contributions beyond Burns and Horn to keep pace, relying on their complementary players who have stepped up in previous tournament games. In their previous encounter two seasons ago, these teams combined for 154 points, surpassing a 145-point total. This season, they have collectively exceeded the over in 35 of their games. Despite their mid-to-low tempo styles, both teams possess potent offenses, with NC State ranking 40th in adjusted offense and Purdue showcasing the tournament's standout player. Anticipating an offensive showdown, Purdue has consistently scored over 77 points in seven of their last 10 games, while NC State has achieved at least 76 points in six of their last nine. Considering the real possibility of overtime, this game is likely to be a high-scoring affair. Therefore, over the projected total is our full game total pick. 
Alabama vs. Connecticut The NCAA tournament has narrowed down to the final four teams, setting the stage for an intriguing matchup between the Alabama Crimson Tide, a four-seed representing the West region, and the one-seeded University of Connecticut from the East bracket. Alabama comes into this game as the nation's top-scoring team, averaging an impressive 91 points per game. Meanwhile, Connecticut boasts the best scoring differential, defeating opponents by an average margin of 18 points. These teams have met once before, with Connecticut securing a decisive of victory in 2022 with a score of 82-67. Connecticut is making its second consecutive appearance in the Final Four, having dominated its opponents throughout the tournament. Going back to last year's tournament, the Huskies have won 10 consecutive games by double-digit margins, covering the point spreads in all 10 games. Although Alabama poses a formidable challenge, they might be outmatched by Connecticut's prowess. Alabama's offensive efficiency ranks third according to Ken Palm, largely due to their knack for taking high-quality shots. They excel in the rim and three rate, meaning they prioritize layups or three-pointers. In their recent victory against Clemson, Alabama shot well both at the rim and beyond the arc, resulting in an impressive one points per possession. However, replicating this success against Connecticut's defense could prove challenging. Connecticut's defense is stellar, having recently held the fourth-ranked defense, according to Ken Palm, to just one point per possession. The Huskies' defensive strategy is geared towards limiting three-point attempts and protecting the rim. According According to Ken Palm, Connecticut ranks highly in preventing three-point shots and leads the nation in defending field goal attempts at the rim. In contrast, Alabama's defensive efficiency is outside the top 100, which could pose significant challenges for them in this matchup. The Huskies have shown versatility in adapting to different game paces, despite typically not playing at a high tempo. Facing Alabama's fast-paced style will require Connecticut to adjust accordingly. Connecticut has managed to score impressively against defensively-minded teams like Xavier and North Carolina, showcasing their ability to thrive in different game settings. Alabama faces a tough challenge against Connecticut, who excels in perimeter defense, holding opponents to just 30.9% from beyond the arc. Connecticut's defensive strategy discourages opponents from relying heavily on three-point shots, a key component of Alabama's offensive game plan. Additionally, Connecticut ranks second nationally in two-point defense and first in points allowed per shot at the rim, which could neutralize Alabama's rim and three-base defense. For Connecticut's head coach, Dan Hurley, simply winning games is not enough. He emphasizes dominating opponents. Hurley instills a strong team mentality of us against the world, motivating players to maintain dominance from start to finish. Alabama's offensive strategy heavily relies on the three-point shot, which will be challenging against Connecticut's disciplined defense. Coach Oates emphasizes quick offensive possessions, but replicating this against Connecticut, who orchestrated a 30-0 run against a similarly efficient offense, will be difficult. Connecticut's dominance is reflected in their impressive record against the spread and their consistent double-digit wins throughout March Madness. So the Connecticut Huskies to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. To maintain dominance, Connecticut focuses on efficient offensive possessions while limiting opponents' possessions per game. This deliberate strategy results in a slower pace of play and a positive scoring margin. Despite a low three-point shooting percentage in their recent game against Illinois, Connecticut's disciplined approach has consistently led to game outcomes staying below the projected total. This game presents Alabama with its toughest challenge of the season, particularly against Connecticut's formidable defense. Alabama's Grant Nelson may struggle against Connecticut's shot-blocking prowess, forcing them to rely more on perimeter shooting. Alabama's previous game against a strong defensive team like Tennessee resulted in a significantly lower scoring output. Given these factors, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.